Welcome to、hey、Hei Chinese Channel. Welcome back. We have two pieces of news today. We hope you like it. Debate over new Australian logo of gold wattle, but no kangaroo. A new logo developed to promote Australia to the world has been criticised as confusing by advertising experts, who say the wattle design looks more like a luxury perfume label than an official nation. National logo. A kangaroo design was rejected in favour of an abstract gold wattle design in a report by Australia's Nation Brand Advisory Council, and accepted by Trade Minister Simon Birmingham. Several versions of the new logo will be made available to be used by business, industry, and government agencies. Replacing the cur current one with two orange boomerangs that form a rough outline of Australia. The Council of Business and Cultural Leaders said in their report the kangaroo only emphasised that foreigners. Already knew about Australia. While we should be pushing our what other lesser known assets like technology and education, but University of Canberra brand expert adjunct professor Dr. Petra Bovane said the Watto logo was too abstract and looked like generic luxury perfume labelling. That could have come from anywhere. It's it's need to be clear what it is to me. It looks like expensive gifts, like a new perfume. It doesn't look like business to me. She said, "I have a PhD, two other degrees, and I work in marketing. If it is Watto, you could have locked me up for a week, and I would have not guessed it was a Watto." She also said the new only in Australia tagline was misguided because gold could be found elsewhere in the world. Well, as could Watto, which also grows in Europe. The AU lettering doesn't make it clear. It is Australia. People could mistake it with Austria. Lots of the stuff we sell, you can get from a whole lot of other countries. Gold comes from other countries. Water grows in other countries. It doesn't make sense. Advertising expert D. Madigan gave the new water logo the thick tick of approval because she said the kangaroo had been overused. Any time I see the kangaroo on any piece of Australian stuff. I feel like it is made in China. It has been appropriated by the kind of cheap tourist stuff, which usually is made in China. So it has been devalued as a logo. She said. In a Daily Telegraph reader poll of almost seven thousand respondents, ninety six percent said they prefer the kangaroo over the new logo. Please tell us in the comments. Do you like the new logo? Or you prefer the new logo with a kangaroo? Now it's time for the other fun news. There's a dinosaur in my kitchen, and one in my garden, and one walking down my street. Google has launched a new feature that lets you view lifelike dinosaurs through a smartphone camera. The augmented reality technology works like. Pokemon Go, but the creatures are giant dinos that tower above you. You can watch a T Rex stomp around in your garden, and even cower under a mammoth Brachiosaurus. You can view the dinosaurs in three D, rotating them and even zooming in to see them up close. It also lets you to get better idea, a better idea. Of how big the dinosaurs would have been in relation to world, real world objects, and on Android phones, you'll even be able to hear their roars and thuds of footsteps. It thanks to a Google partnership with 3D designers at Lucia Amblin Entertainment 
and universal brand development. To create the 3D dinosaurs, our concept artists found, first did preliminary research to discover information about each creature, said Camilla Sanin of Ludia, the studio behind the Jurassic World the Live Game. Not only did we draw research from various forms of literature, our artists worked with paleontologists and the Jurassic World team to make the assets as accurate and realistic as possible. Even the smallest details, such as irregularities of skin color and patterns are important. You can also find wildlife such as tigers, pythons, panda and many many other animals. How to do it? On Android, search for dinosaur or any of the 10 named dinosaurs on the Google app or any Android browser. Then tap view in 3D and you'll be able to see the dinosaur in 3D. If you're using Android 7 or later, the latest Android version is Android 11, so you'll be fine if you have a phone bought in the f last few years. If your device is AR Core enabled, then you'll be able to glimpse the dinosaur in the real world. On iOS for iPhones, search for dinosaur or any of the 10 dinosaurs on the Google map. Alternatively, do the same on google.com with Chrome or Safari. You'll be able to see 3D and AR content on devices using iOS 11 or later. Thank you for watching. Come back to watch some more news. Thank you for watching our video. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe.